represents a decent weekend, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I think if you were going back to your, uh, your home country and, and talking to your sports commission and talking about the results, and I think most countries would be pretty happy with that. I mean, you always would like to take it the next step, but um, you know, that's a pretty solid outing for your country. So our final match of the morning session. It's quick fire stuff here in World Archery. The matches come thick and fast, one after the other. And so here we are in an all-European affair between two nations who've always been strong in global archery. Number three and four ranked teams here this week. And approaching the shooting line to get us underway are the trio from France. Thomas Shiro in the middle there. The junior partner in that three, Pierre Pion. And a former world number one and an Olympic silver medalist himself, Jean-Charles Valadon, in the French team, ranked number eight in the world this year. And their opponents in the well-known Orange of the Netherlands, three archers who You'll know well, Simon, one of them at least, and uh, we'll talk about that in a little while. All of them in sun hats. Not the kind of gear you needed yesterday, but today, much brighter. Well, keeping the rain out of their eyes maybe yesterday, but uh, pretty sunny out there now. Yeah, lovely, lovely conditions for everyone concerned. We're stuck in a tent at the back, sadly, but we'll take that. It was better yesterday. So, rank number 12 in the world. Rick van den Over there, waving to the crowd in the blue hat. Steve Weiler. Steve Weiler. And in the middle. Chef van den Berg. Steve Weiler being interesting in the fact that he won his very first World Cup event when he his, his first outing as a national team member of the World Cup and won it, which is uh, just about unheard of. We were talking to him the other day, talking about the disappointment of losing an early round. He says, I don't know, I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the confidence of the young. <laughs> and um, while of the... Um, one of the athletes locked in for the, the the grand finals in Rome. We'll talk about that very shortly in a minute as well. We'll go through that lineup. All the places already decided. So unusually for a, a World Cup stage, actually nothing to play for in terms of the World Cup standings because all of those spots are decided. But that means it's the medals that count here this morning. Off we go with the 10 from the Netherlands. Blijf de rugspanning aan, blijf bewegen. A few nerves here, I think. Shaky hand on the draw. 9.9 nine on the poker. Still a 9. Relatief. Sterk and soepel, hè? You'd make quite a demanding coach, I reckon. <laughs> Not so popular, maybe. 9.0 So 28 open up for the Netherlands. So here's France with Plion. Open up with the tail as well. So that's given Thomas Shiro a little platform to build on. Nine, nine. So Valadon already with an opportunity for France. A 10, which he's well capable of. We'll get their noses very slightly in front. Let the clock out. Eight, five. Mm. Yeah, I think he probably made that noise as well. <laughs> I think so. Netherlands, a point ahead. I see you. Go, John. Ten. Ten. Here he is. Ten. 
talking about that time pressure. Save 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 that Probably not quite enough, you feel, to take this first set. So France perhaps with an advantage, but they've still got to shoot the arrows. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Ten with his first. An eight there, though. Aye, she Jusqu'au bout, tu l'accompagnes. Thomas Chiro, ouais. number nine. Deux, un petit peu bas, bien tiré, Chichi. Allez, j'y sais. Là, on choisit mon gros jambes au plot. Tu y as un petit clic, tu vas sur 16, 9 secondes au plot. Allez, bien préparé. Et jusqu'au bout. France need a ten to level set. Allez, on va gagner. Right into the last 10 seconds. Final shot clock as well. Stylish. So 54 points for each team with their first set of six arrows, which means that set is shared. And then the number is shared, so you get one point. The set system, not something you really encounter in the, uh, as an archer yourself in competitions, but so we've, we've evolved that stage. What do you make of that? Yeah, I don't know. I've never shot in that side. I mean, what, it, what it does allow is uh, a one disaster. You know, yeah, the yeah, but, uh, yeah. the next set can back and shoot well and win that set. Whereas previously, when it was an aggregate score, uh, with only 12 arrows each, uh, each one man shot, the match was over. Unless you know, hope you lost hope with your opponent, but also have a mistake like that. But if they didn't, so. have yeah, we got a prime example of that in this first set? Actually, you've got the the seven there with the penultimate arrow for for the Netherlands, which would really hurt you in a cumulative score, wouldn't it? But and it may still prove to be decisive, but that's a shared set, so no one's got, got away from anyone else as a result. Yeah. It's a little, a little slow on that shot, Chef. Okay. Okay. Right, James. It's Fenton Irvert. Nine and seven. Nine. Nine. First nine. Two nine. arrows. Another nine for him. Stay again, super low, we go. Yeah, Steve Richter, 26. Yeah, links. Links are both. Simple. And we send it on the rail. Eight to begin with France. I don't know whether I'm imagining this, but the demeanor of the two sets of teams is really reflecting with the crowd as well. It's, it's got a little bit more hushed. People realise it's the last match of the morning. There's a gold medal at stake. You can feel it, can't you? Yeah, I think so. Everybody's you know, it's all even at the moment, so everybody's thinking, oh, is there a chance, but uh, not being able to capitalise at the moment. Respire. Nine. Nine. So France. With a one point advantage. A little conversation between the three team members. As Vandenberg takes aim. Ah, good job. And he finds a ten. What will have got him to that ten after a couple of hours where he didn't find that maximum. Oh, uh, I think that that third shot that he did was just a little slow. Perhaps he, you know, wasn't wasn't focused on quite 
his mind, so it took a little longer to get through the shot. A bit of a wobble, not as clean off of the fingers. Whereas that one was a lot better. Chef shoots a very heavy bow too. One of the heavier bows on the on the circuit. Action, pulling the bow away very dramatically, perhaps yeah. hoping to influence the shot. 55 for the Netherlands. Eight for France. Means the best they can do now is to tie up this set again, but they'll need two tens to do it. Shiro found the 10 with his last arrow. Nine. 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 So Valadon knows whatever this arrow is, his team will go in behind at the halfway stage. <laughs> Ten for him, right on the buzzer, two fist bumps all round, but it is the Netherlands new are into the lead, 3-1. So this is one of those scenarios where they win the next set and the match and the gold medal belong to them, so it can get away from you very quickly, even though we are in the set system. Sometimes, yeah, these matches don't last very long for you know, the competitors if they're, if they're feeling under pressure and it's, you know, it's a bit intense. But they can get to the end of the match and, and hardly remember any of the shots they made. It doesn't last very long and it's overwhelming. And, yeah, so you could say, so, you know, that fifth arrow you shot at, I don't remember. I can't remember the fourth one, I can't remember the second one. And then other times you remember everything about it. So some noise from the crowd to get this third set underway. And France now shooting first as they are behind knowing that they need to pull something out here in Thomas Shiro begins for them and a brilliant tenth from him exactly what the french team needed plion number two in the order they've mixed it up a little Maladon's arrow is away, it's loose by his standards and 8, 29 points still. 28 points, I beg your pardon, for France. Would love a ten here. Wow, nine. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Has some work to do. A ten is necessary for the Netherlands to stay level in the middle of this third set. Eight. 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 And another exclamation from the crowd and a, a touch to my right. Yeah. It's, it's a two-point game here, Italy and France. Ten for Shiro. Is it maybe an advantage now if you're if you're shooting first and you've your first three arrows have allowed you a, a, a little gap? Yeah, I, I think. It, uh, you know, at the moment, well, we yeah. it's the lower yeah. team shoots first. I mean, the, the, the training team shoots first in the end. But in the previous system, we had when it was just an aggregate score, and you had four lots of three arrows. You always tried to be the second archer to shoot first, 
I think like put your opponent first, which would mean Actif. they also had to shoot the last arrows. The going first seems to be paying off for France here. 57 for them, so they'll level the match up. <laughs> Is he looking a bit more settled now? Yeah, I think so. He'd be happy with his shots, I think. It's the only appearance for the men from the Netherlands in the finals today, so... They'll want to make this one count. Let's see if they can come away with the gold. Hmm? Yeah. But it will be three set points each after this arrow from Wichler. <laughs> 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 Ten hits, 55 points for the Netherlands, 57 for France. So it is three set points each. The first team to five wins the match. So we've got, in effect, a sort of six arrow shoot off now mm. between the teams. This league sort of like clean. We've got one last, one last set to shoot, and whoever wins it wins the match. Come on, let's go. Slow start to this match yeah, in terms of the, the crowd reaction, but you can see it now. Everyone's getting involved, can't they? Did you like the crowds when you shot? Um, that's a great question. A lot of times there's uh, not much noise crowds in the earlier parts of the rounds. So if you don't get to the finals, you never experience it. But when you get to the finals, then suddenly there's this new thing, the, uh, the crowd to deal with. And certainly uh, at an Olympic level, um, I did, I did, I think. When I uh, won my gold in Sydney, um, the crowd was fabulous. And on your side too. And on my side, it was pretty <laughs> inside. Right, so a night for the Dutch team to get out of the way in this final set. It's going to be the team who can keep the arrows in the gold that takes this one, you feel. Yeah, holding their nerves. No, no, no. Yeah, focus. Sometimes you can be feeling terrible in yourself in terms of shakiness and nerves and so on, but if your mind is very clear about what you're doing, the adrenaline and so on can uh, make the world of difference. That's good. Hey, Bien sur ta ligne. Active jusqu'au bout. Allez Pierre, bien dans l'appui. Et on serre jusqu'au bout. Couple of tens here would take the match. Et on l'accompagne, solide. French advantage. Ouais, c'est bon Pierre. So Valadon finding himself in a familiar position in this match, knowing that it's a 10 really that's required. Allez, j'y sais. Actif. Et tu l'accompagnes longtemps, longtemps, jusqu'au bout. Ouais. Il y a un tiret qui est dans le timing, nickel. He's an Olympic silver medalist himself. And... Uh, can see that that match play situation doesn't very face experienced him. competitor. Well, no. Van der Berg, particularly on this World Cup circuit. Mayo. Tempo. Nine for him. Which is a 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
He puts them in the game. He puts them in the game. That's for sure. Et la volonté jusqu'au bout. Alors nous on reste dessus. Ouais, super. Super. Allez Pierre, ensemble. Il y en a l'appui et ça sert jusqu'au bout. On fait l'effort. Allez, longtemps, 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 longtemps. Yes. C'est ça. You have to assume there was some good focus going on and some adrenaline helping that one along. So here we go, a 9-2 win. And 10 seconds left to do it. Well, Jean-Charles Valadon, can he? Yes! Oh. It's a 9. 9! Hold down it! 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 Hold down in the semis, and they take a gold medal here in the sunshine in Berlin. It's a victory in Berlin for Thomas Giro, Pierre Pliant, and Jean Charles Valadon. That wraps up this morning's session. We'll have the medal ceremonies and the national anthems very shortly, and the Netherlands will take their place in second position on the podium and a silver medal for them. And that genuinely, I think, the three most exciting match of the morning. That was a crack at the match, yeah. Nothing like that in the match, no right at the end. And with some good shooting in the last end to really keep everybody in the set. Mark, uh, let me laugh at the match coach for the three of so he's a coach you know well. What, so what assistance will he have provided to those guys to, to keep them focused? Because they, they went in, they were behind for a lot of the match. They were, they were having to cut a lot of pressure. Yeah, he's a coach that I really like his coaching style. He, uh, he's one of those coaches that is a, um, a consultative coach. You know, he sits with his archers and talks to them and gets them to talk about how they how they are going, what they need to do. They, I know he has team meetings with his individual athletes every night, you know, after dinner and, uh, you know, really monitors what they're doing, but not in a di dictatorial way. It's, you know, it's a collaborative approach, which I think is, uh, you know, certainly for Western archers, I think is uh, a, a really good way to go. Um, yeah, very different to the approach that you described from Korea. That's actually. right, yeah. Uh, a proof, I suppose, that there's not yes, a one-size-fits-all. There's not a one-size in any way. Uh, you know, other than that, that truth being, of, you know, you need Finals, that connection uh, through your back tension as the arrow is leaving your here. fingers and you need and to be aiming through the shot. Other than that, there's so many different ways to do this game that uh, you know, to say this is the one way I think is, is just plain wrong.